we've created a spreadsheet here that includes some data, the 9.8 meters per second squared, and a series of formulas in these cells that use little g and these time values in column A to calculate the distance an object has fallen at these particular moments. Now let's say that you want to share the spreadsheet with somebody else, but you don't want them to be changing or accidentally deleting these formulas. They might, for instance, not realize that their formulas might just think that it's data in a table, when in fact these are calculated values. So you can protect the spreadsheet so that only those cells that you want to be able to change can be changed by someone else. And now it's a little confusing how Excel does this. Excel automatically assumes that you want to protect the entire sheet. Now we can change any of these cells and put in any data values we want in any cell. But if we come up here to the review tab click on that and hit protect sheet. And we'll just go with the default options for now. We'll talk more about that later. Now, if you try to change anything, it will give you this error message saying you're not allowed to do that. It can even be a, a, a blank cell. You're not allowed to change anything when the sheet is protected. Now, anyone can just go up here and hit the unprotect button. This is really designed to prevent someone from accidentally changing the spreadsheet. It's not designed to prevent someone from deliberately changing the spreadsheet. So, how can we make this spreadsheet so that when we give it to someone, they can change the value of little g, but not overwrite the formulas or the uh, times in the table here? And so what we're going to do is we're going to unprotect the sheet and we're going to go to the Home tab, and this uh, B2, the cell that we have also named G, we want to unprotect that one cell. So we're going to come over here to the Cells command block here and select Format. Now notice here this command, Lock Cell. This is very confusing how Excel does this. By clicking on this, we're actually going to unlock the cell, unprotect it. The reason you can tell is you see that little border around the lock symbol. That means that the cell is already locked. In fact, every cell on the spreadsheet is already, by default, locked. But by clicking on that, we toggle the state. We switch it to unlocked. And you can tell that, notice that down here, the lock does not have the little border around it anymore. So this cell is now unprotected. So when we go back to the Review tab, select Protect Sheet, hit OK. Now every cell in the spreadsheet is protected, cannot be changed, except for the one that we unlocked, little g. So if I try to type in something here, it says I can't do it. If I try to overwrite the formula here, it doesn't let me do it. If I try to change the time here, it doesn't let me do it. But if I put in a different value here, it will recalculate the table. So this is how you can use these uh, commands. It's a little confusing how Excel does it, but it is useful if you want to share a spreadsheet with someone else and you have carefully constructed formulas and only a couple cells do you want them to fool with. You unprotect those particular cells and then you hit protect sheet and everything else will be protected.